First, an important disclaimer that you need to keep in mind. While following this information, know that I am not a doctor, nor am I a licensed practitioner of medicine in any way. I am merely stating my own ideas and knowledge. If you have a persistent problem, you should con consult your physician. All of the information, suggestions, and techniques herein are, therefore, meant for informational purposes only. The viewers or readers are encouraged to verify for themselves all the information herein before making any decisions based upon my advice. The author shall not be held liable for any decisions resulting from the usage of this guide. Before making any changes in prescribed healthcare regimes, consult a licensed practitioner. Here's the first step to achieving quality sleep and falling asleep faster. First, we have to explore the source of all insomnia problems, fragmented sleep. Fragmented sleep is the source of all insomnia problems. Fragmented sleep happens when your mind starts racing. It's this increased brainwave speed that causes damage to your sleep. In good sleepers, we see that the sleep cycles control brainwave speed very smoothly, only having slight variations, like waves on a calm lake. By comparison, an insomniac's brainwave speed exhibits sudden large variations during the sleep cycle, like gigantic ocean waves during a storm. It is these large variations in brainwave cycles that cause fragmented sleep. Sometimes this fragmentation causes you to wake up, but even when it doesn't wake you up, the result is poor quality sleep. That's why you're sometimes still exhausted even after getting 8 hours of sleep. If you only have a problem falling asleep, it's a good bet that your brainwave's activity is too speedy, preventing it from happening in the first place. Even when you finally get to sleep, large variations continue throughout the night, damaging your sleep. The source of these large variations in your brainwaves is the real cause of your insomnia problem. So to cure your insomnia, you need to answer the question, what's causing these fast variations in my brainwave activity and how do I stop them? Or we could just say, why is my brain speeding up when it should be slowing down? Now let's look at the number one reason your brainwaves rapidly speed up causing fragmented sleep. When you see an iceberg, you're only seeing the very tip that's above water. Likewise, when you can't sleep, most of the problem lies below your level of consciousness. That's why sleep often seems so mysterious. Have you ever tried taking a sleeping pill to help you sleep? Most likely you answered yes, yet it didn't work to your satisfaction because there's something even more fundamental. That's why sleep experts teach techniques for controlling your sleep rather than simply sending you to a doctor for a prescription. These techniques may help you control problems like anxiety, depression, stress, endless obsessive thinking, pain, anger, fear, frustration, feelings of loneliness, and others that seem to be disrupting your sleep hormones, but they're often missing a critical piece of the puzzle. Have you ever been told that to fall asleep, you need to fix one of these problems first, but you found yourself thinking, well, if I slept better, I wouldn't have this problem in the first place? Many insomniacs are told they need to manage their anxiety better and their sleep will take care of itself, or that they need to work on their depression if they want to sleep. This is frustrating because they say, I can't get rid of anxiety, it's there because I know how miserable struggling to get sleep is. Or I can't get rid of my depression because insomnia is the reason my whole life stinks. There seems to be something missing from the equation, some other reason you have insomnia. Most who try advanced techniques without knowing this deeper unconscious problem find that it still doesn't work or it simply stops working after a short period of time. I remember the experience of lying down, trying so hard to make a technique work for me, and only feeling more awake, less comfortable, and that much further from falling asleep. It seemed as if my efforts were working against me, even when I was sure I was doing everything right. To figure out how this happens, think about something really important or urgent, like an upcoming meeting, a serious problem, or something you have to attend to. Now this is really important, so please pause the video right now and take a minute to get focused on this thought before continuing. Okay, so hopefully you're thinking of something that you consider to be important. Now, take a second and think about each of these questions. Do you notice how whatever you're thinking about piques your interest? Do you feel tense or anxious at all? Do you have these kind of thoughts frequently? Do you notice any feelings, emotions, or other strong sensations around this thought? Okay, now observe how all your answers to these questions reflect faster brainwave activity. Notice how your mind is getting more intense or speeding up. 
with everything we do during the day, with all the important things in life, our unconsciousness speeds up to help us out. It fires up our brain waves so that we can achieve the task. Why is that so crucial? Because your unconscious mind automatically prepares for action. It is aware of how important getting sleep is, so like any other important matter, it speeds up your brain waves, making you feel wide awake no matter how exhausted you actually are. This key importance you've associated with sleep, which good sleepers do not have or need by the way, speeds up your brain waves all night long. Even if you're incredibly tired, you're unconsciously thinking that sleep is really important. When you struggle to get some sleep, you only end up making it worse. The harder you try, the more you speed up your brain waves and the more elusive sleep becomes. It's like being lost in the woods and not knowing what direction to go in. Moving around just gets you even more lost, making you feel even more helpless. That's why it's crucial to take a minute to judge how important getting sleep is to you. Notice what negative thoughts or behaviors are revealed by the following questions that would make getting sleep very important on a subconscious level. So take a second and answer each of these questions and you're going to notice how important getting sleep really is to you and how it's going to speed up your brain at the wrong times. What are the consequences going to be tomorrow if you don't get enough sleep? What have you been giving up in life? How much do you value those things? Do you suffer from anxiety, depression, pain, exhaustion, diminished focus, laziness, or anything else that's really bothering you because of lost sleep? Does the fact that you aren't getting enough sleep come up over and over again throughout the day? Are you feeling defeated or suppressed because of insomnia? Do you see how those questions or any problems you have because of insomnia cause you to unconsciously view getting sleep as more important? Do you think that these things may be unconsciously causing your brain waves to speed up as soon as you even think about going to sleep? It's been scientifically proven that if you go to bed with stress, that stress will stay with you throughout the night, fragmenting your sleep. You can probably see why it's so hard to fall asleep, why you wake up several times throughout the night, and why you wake up feeling extremely tired like you barely slept at all. To add insult to injury, all the pills, tips, techniques, and anything else you've tried to fall asleep often only make the problem worse. Without fixing this fundamental problem first, they only confirm the importance of getting sleep, speeding up your brain waves even more, and making you feel even worse. That's why sleep remedies often don't work or stop working after a while instead of giving you the quick sleep and refreshing mornings they promise. No matter how long you've had insomnia, you're stuck in this downward spiral. Now to give you an example of how this works, if you're depressed, you need sleep to handle all the problems you have to deal with during the day, but that causes sleep to be too important so it doesn't happen. The next day, it's a struggle again, leading to more sleepless nights and more depressed days, causing you serious hardship with your work, family, health, and even your own ability to think. The problem is below the radar. The cycle normally helps you defeat your problems, so it's only natural that you've been using it. But when it comes to falling asleep, it backfires and speeds up your brain waves, having the exact opposite effect you need for sound sleep. Go figure, sleep is the one thing in life that we should never consider to be important, and right now, it's one of your most important problems. Like being lost in the woods, even though you think walking around will help, you end up right back where you started, lost and more desperate than ever. If you simply had a compass, you'd be able to walk straight out of the woods. The way to break the spiral and get easy, deep, refreshing rest. From here, it shouldn't be too difficult to find a light at the end of the tunnel. All you need to do is learn to slow down your brain waves at night and get refreshing sleep, which would completely break the spiral and improve your sleep no matter what insomnia problems you have. The problem is, to slow down your brain waves and break the spiral, you have to stop seeing sleep as so important, which is all you've been doing lately. The question is, how is it possible to see sleep as something that's not important? It's a valid point. Sleep is important. The truth is, it's impossible to see sleep as not important. Seeing sleep as not important is to trick yourself. What is possible is to make sleep far less important. Seeing sleep as less important is to free yourself. Making sleep less important is just a matter of figuring out what thoughts are making sleep excessively important. 
All insomniacs have many thoughts about sleep that make it extremely important whether they notice these thoughts or not. These thoughts simply become irrationally immoderate. They go too far. No thought is wrong. There's some truth to each thought and emotion. The key is to determine what's valid, where it goes too far, and what's just plain wrong or misguided. For example, take a thought like, I can't have a good day tomorrow if I don't sleep. That's not wrong, but it's not right either. On one hand, not sleeping makes the next day a lot harder. On the other hand, you can still have a good day tomorrow. Just think of any time you were exhausted, but ended up having a good day. When you catch thoughts like that one, you can make sleep much less important. Your brain is full of thoughts that irrationally make sleep too important. You simply have to listen in and moderate. If you could even make sleep half as important as it is now, you'd probably fall asleep twice as fast with double the quality and sleeping pills and other remedies would actually do their job. That's especially true when you learn a secret self-therapy method you must know for using any pill, remedy, or sleep technique in a way that calms you down and makes sleep happen. If you've tried any sleep techniques in the past and found yourself only feeling more awake, this secret method will show you what went wrong. That means less awakenings at night, falling back to sleep easily if you do awaken, and feeling more refreshed and energetic the next day. It also means half the exhaustion and a more normal life. And that's not just an estimation. I've seen it happen again and again with people of all ages, genders, and lifestyles who use this information. This stuff improves sleep for just about anyone who's willing to apply it. There's one more essential fact you should know before you learn about what comes next. The fact is, sleep is not a choice. You can't choose to fall asleep deeply, but you can choose to build skills that will make sleep happen on its own. You have to stop trying to fall asleep and instead start building skills that make sleep happen. Now there's still a good deal of information to know about what skills to build. If you try to cure insomnia now, it's kind of like trying to build a house with no tools and no knowledge of how to build a house. You can try, but you're not going to get very far. That's why I created the free Cure Insomnia video series. It's intended to give you all the most essential tools for curing insomnia. Here's just a little sneak preview of what those tools are. The secret self-therapy method for using any technique or even pills in a way that works. This will teach you how struggling to sleep works against you and what to do instead. And I have to give you a warning here. Without learning this method, anything you do to help yourself sleep will only make your brain waves even faster. Even relaxation, meditation, and comforting yourself will not work without knowing this method first. This method will take all the pressure off. This method will show you exactly what goes on inside the mind of a good sleeper and how to think in the same way. Techniques for easily putting a stop to endless obsessive thinking, anxiety, worry, fear, depression, frustration, loneliness, and even how to deal with just feeling awake. With practice, you'll learn how to essentially flip the switch and turn off many of these behaviors. A simple, works every time way to make sleep less important by turning any problem into an opportunity. How to make sleep far less important and becoming more rational with your beliefs by determining the difference between how much sleep you need and how much sleep is ideal. How to make sleep far less important by taking your life back from insomnia, in part by discovering how virtually all insomniacs put exhaustion in the center of their lifestyle and how to change and lead a more balanced life even with extreme exhaustion. This includes counteracting the negative effects sleep deprivation has on your health and doing some simple daytime exercises that will improve your sleep and your health at the same time. How to change deeply rooted beliefs including how to create energy and overcome exhaustion, how to conquer fear, doubt, and worry, how to become healthier and live a better life, advanced neurolinguistic programming psychology for changing any beliefs that make sleep more important, new mindsets for looking at your night, your day, and your life to make sleep less important and to improve your happiness 24 hours a day, a bigger picture method for gaining control and knowing what to do next no matter how lost you become, and examples of how real insomniacs use all these techniques to put themselves to sleep and to have more energy during the day. 
If learning to sleep were like solving a giant jigsaw puzzle, then changing your beliefs and your behaviors would be the two biggest pieces of the puzzle, and they'd fit right in the middle. If you had these pieces put in place for you, it'd make solving the rest of the puzzle much easier because it'd make it clear how the rest of the pieces fit in with them. So no matter what, remember to look for beliefs and behaviors whenever you try to improve your sleep. I also just want to comment that I'm aware that you've tried a lot of things to help yourself sleep if you're like most insomniacs and that you've had, that you're really doubtful about some of this stuff. So what I'll say is that the last version of this video really helped a lot of people and the, um, the video series that you're supposed to take after this video really helped a lot of people dramatically make changes to their sleep. And um, seeing the results come into my inbox, just emails every single day coming through saying, you know, all, like that they have less awakenings at night, that they're sleeping better, that they have more energy. It's just, um, uh, I mean, the breakthroughs that people are getting, it's, it's really amazing stuff. So if you're still on the fence, if you're not sure, this is something you might really want to give a try. Now to finish off this video, I want to talk about what comes next. Insomniacs are a risk of medical problems. They don't live as long. They forget things, snap at people, struggle at work, lose important things, and are always deprived of energy and focus. By taking the next step, you'll gain an increased ability to fall asleep more quickly, have fewer awakenings at night, have greater ease returning to sleep if awakened, get more solid hours of sleep each night, and experience less daytime sleepiness and fatigue. You'll also reap additional rewards, including enhanced mental and physical health, greater powers of concentration, and a more stable mood, all of which arise from increasing the quality of your sleep. The great thing is that you can learn how to do all this very quickly. All in all, there's only a handful of concepts and techniques you need to know that will improve your sleep. Putting them into practice will take longer, but imagine how nice it'll be to have something constructive to do when you're lying in bed awake, bored and lonely. Like reading a book late at night, practicing this stuff will make you dreary and it'll help you sleep. This is going to be like magic for your sleep. It's going to teach you how to make sleep happen so your mind starts working with you instead of against you. Pills and techniques will start working much more effectively and eventually you won't even need them at all. I've made a free video series for you and I want to send you one video every week for the next three weeks. Now I've set it up this way because you have to use the methods for a whole week before you're ready to get to the next level. Each of these videos is about 45 minutes long and they're packed with methods, techniques, and concepts that'll change the way you see your sleep forever. You'll be getting all the best stuff that's taken me years to develop. There's easily over $100 in value in these ideas. They'll be priceless once you master these methods and don't need to pay for pills ever again. And I'm giving you all this information for free because I was once in your shoes and I know what it's like. To get this video series, go to naturalcuresforinsomnia.org or just look below this video if you're already on the site and simply fill out your email in the form on that page. Just go there to get started right away, nothing extra required. Within minutes, you'll have the first video so you can start improving your sleep tonight. You have my promise that I'll keep your email address confidential. I really wish when I started I had access to a clear, viable map like this, so make sure you go do this. This has been James Cahoon wishing you quicker, longer, more refreshing sleep.